Not this again, Donald. Joe, you stupid son of a bitch. Obviously, Elizabeth Afton died before five nights at Freddy's four. Why else would her bedroom be empty? She's dead, Joe. Donald, that makes zero sense. Just because Elizabeth's bedroom is empty does not mean that she's dead. If you say so, Sleepy Joe, but the crying child obviously saw something. And then how do you explain the fact that Nightmare Fredbear has a stomach mouth? Clearly a reference to the fact that Circus Baby's stomach opened the exact same way for Elizabeth. Just because the crying child saw something doesn't mean it had to be Circus Baby. William Afton making murder weapons like that at this point in the timeline makes no sense. Of course the crying child had to have been traumatized by Circus Baby. Unless you were there in 1983 rubbing his shoulders? Whoa, of course not. All I'm saying is that there's no evidence that Afton would be designing killer animatronics at this point. He hasn't even murdered anyone yet. The missing children's incident doesn't even happen until 1985. I don't care. Elizabeth Afton died before Five Nights at Freddy's 4, and I don't care what you or anyone else has to say about it. Just stop it, Donald. Freddy Fazbear's closed, and Circus Baby lured Elizabeth with ice cream at some point after 1983. End of story. Shut up, Joe. You know you would have taken some chocolate chocolate chip if Circus Baby offered you some, too. You've got me there, Donald.